So today we're going to take a look at the new Super Petro, the Novosibirsk. Uh, still not sure on the pronunciation, I apologize, but it's the Super Petro and it could be extremely good. We get even better caliber here on the main guns, which results in the best pen at high tier for any cruisers. So the AP going to feel pretty good. Similar pen angles as Petro, so slightly improved. Not too amazing, not like Des Moines or anything like that, but slightly improved over normal. So I can see the AP being pretty good here. Our reload is still pretty nice, 11 seconds here on these even bigger caliber guns. Our concealment is okay. Uh, it's pretty good though, let's be honest, with the 12 kilometer radar. That uh, really shouldn't be anywhere near uh, your concealment, but uh, we're pretty close. I'm going to run defensive fire here since... A little concerned about uh, carriers dunking on us here a little bit, but Hydro is probably a better option. We do get a normal heal, and this is going to be the upgrades we're going to be running. As for a commander build, something like this is how I'm going to start. I'm going to try and buff the tankiness just a little bit here. 70,000 HP is quite a lot. And looking at the armor, it's pretty similar to Petro. Uh, we are a little higher out of the water, so uh, Citadel-wise, Somewhat similar, but uh, if you show broadside, you're going to take a hit, certainly. It's only when we add on these layers of armor that it's going to be a little bit tricky. Angled, of course, 210 millimeters, you're never getting through that. Uh, 40 millimeter icebreaker that's covering all the citadels, so close range, bow in, you're never going to get citadeled. And then uh, we have 35 here and 50 on the top. Uh, 35 is a little interesting because... Satsuma is actually able to overmatch that, interestingly enough. Uh, but 50, nothing is going to get through that as well. Much like Petro, we do have a pretty small superstructure still. And it looks like, I haven't played it yet, but it does look like we're not going to have the 360 degree turrets. So a bit of a downside there. That was one of the very interesting things about the Petro. Uh, those 360 turrets are pretty nice for... Uh, just adapting to different flanks or someone sneaking up on you is really nice. Although our turret traverse isn't too bad here, 25 seconds. I don't see that being too much of a problem. So interesting super ship coming up here. It's going to be in the auction again, as these things usually are. If you wait two months, I believe, that's when they'll be normally in the tech tree alongside uh, the devastation, which we looked at briefly yesterday. And uh, let's just jump into some games and see how this one is going to play. So to start things off here in our first game, no carrier, although there is a hybrid to deal with. And uh, two subs, which is a little bit spooky here. But we're going to try and push in, play aggressive, as we always like to do. Try and catch some broadsides. Seattle could be a good target for us here. we got to remember, we got some insane pen. It's something like 500 millimeters of pen, even at like 15 kilometers. So it's like easy battleship levels of pen. And so... Let's just keep that in mind. We will angle in here. I'm going to run for this rock, by the way. That's kind of the idea here. This match, of course, it would be nice to have that uh, sweet, sweet hydro. But we don't have it on this one. Maybe I should be uh, swapping that out. John Bart takes a hit. Ooh, an Edgar. Hello. Sure. You're trapped there, my guy. Take a little pain, it's alright. Let's just uh, find out what's around us here. Hello, Mr. Edgar. Oh, didn't quite have the pen. Or the angle, sorry, the pen angles there. He's gonna turn. Make sure this is a good, so good shot. Yep. <laughs> and we got the Vermont. The Vermont? Yeah, the Vermont finish. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, very nice. Uh, we do have a gate over here, uh, which is a little spooky. But there we have it. Our first, uh, our first couple of citadels in this thing. I expect to see several more in the future. Ooh, too high. A little lower. Hindenburg also going to be a good option here. 
A little high again. Our ASWs, by the way, are... Oh, so close. Our ASWs are like uh, 7 kilometers, 8 kilometers, something like that. This is a very, very aggressive position to be in. I love it. <laughs> it's one of the things you can kind of get away with in the uh, Petro. As well as uh, the Super Ship version, apparently. Where you just get to push into funny places and somehow it kind of works out most of the time. It's the armor, really. Alright, so there is a Holland here. Uh, let's stay here. The Gato would be spotting us at the moment. Try and get this Hindi out. Yikes, that dispersion. Wow. You know, it's it happens. Petro has bad dispersion days too, certainly. Conquer coming through here. Could be a good brawling target to go after. There we go. Yeah, there's the sub. Is he going to just one-shot our Republic? Probably. Oh, we missed the Seattle again? Fortunate. Yeah, 16k. Oof. That's tough. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's find this Conqueror. Improved pan angle should help us here. Certainly. And we'll play kind of around here. A couple good things about this is it helps us stay away a little more from the uh, submarine. And gets us some pretty good damage here in, on this uh, Conqueror. Turret angle here. It's okay. It's decent, I guess. The big issue is... Uh, we're just over 30 degrees here to get our rear turret online, so that means we are liable to take citadels, but keep in mind, we do have some pretty extreme armor. The ship is on fire. Double fire, got five bounces there, trying to aim into a superstructure. It would be better to use uh, HE here, but I'd like to hold on to it just in case the Des Moines decides to get uh, aggressive here. Nice. Use a heal, 11k HP heals coming out of this thing right now. Feels pretty nice. Seattle gonna turn out. Hello, Des Moines. How are you doing today? Could get rammed here. Hopefully not. Oh, <laughs> this Seattle man. <laughs> I feel like we should be uh, should be landing some more citadels on him. I think. Wow. Enemy submarine spotted. Right, Gato's coming back in. Do I have the range? Doesn't look like it. Nope. There we go. That's a double. Okay. Um. <laughs> Dispersion, please. <laughs> He's angled, so it's not a huge deal. Spodgy's looking a little juicy here. Ooh, they even got the Gato. What? How did I Citadel that? I guess that obscure angle we got a Citadel? That's funny. That's actually wild. Uh, we might be walking out broadside here. That's not great. Well, let's see. How much damage are we going to take? Too bad, honestly. Could have been worse. Now we are angled. Ooh, Slava's got us, though. Hopefully not. Ooh. Okay, we're alright. We're alive for the minute. Do you have a citadel on this thing? Let's uh, find where this Holland is at. There he is. Oh, 
long as we angle, we should be fine here. There's the Holland Torps. Won't have to worry about those for a little bit. There we go. That's sweet, sweet bounce. Let's, uh, let's go to the HE here. See how it goes. Well, if Slava's going to give us the angle, you know, be rude not to uh, say hello. Dang, I thought I could have citadeled him there. Holland probably torped at us here. These torps are usually up pretty quick. So I might die here. That's okay. Come on, surely. Yes, there it is. Got the broken commander. Don't worry, guys. There was never any worry. There was never any worry. We got the broken commander. <laughs> Decent HE pressure there. Oh, either side of them. Feels bad. Missed again. Hmm. So just like Petro, the dispersion can definitely troll you. Ooh, slow down, turn out. It's a good play. That should hit, right? Yeah, there we go. Is this the cheeky reverse attempt? Looks like it was. And the acceleration? Yep. <laughs> All right, minute 30 till our, uh, till our radars comes back. 192 in this one? Okay, so we did manage to find some damage at least. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. We're doing, we're doing this super ship justice. Don't worry, there'll be, there'll be more videos for the uh, devastation. Just uh, the timing of how things worked out yesterday with my day. Happened to... Have to record that video right at the end, so I apologize if I was tired and not playing too well. But uh, this thing's pretty strong. <laughs> pretty strong ship, certainly. I did avoid uh, submarines in this one very intentionally, as well as getting lucky to not have to deal with the uh, carrier, right? That's a pretty big deal. That Bowon play on an island is something you can't really do against carriers most of the time. It's not going to go very well. Figured it would be the slowdown. There we go. One kill only, but uh, a very nice game. We actually used all of our heals there. I played... A little poor there, where I uh, let let myself take some big damage to uh, sitting broadside. But that was pretty good. <laughs> that was a pretty good first game, I gotta say. Uh, I, think, I think we'll just continue. See what the next one has in store for us. So getting into our second game here, we do manage to have uh, Arms Race. Which could be absolutely ridiculous, especially with how many cruisers are in this match. We are basically going to stick with AP for the entire game here. Uh, we're pretty broadside here, but don't think it's going to be too bad. Yeah, Satsuma's on the other side. Should just be, if anything, the Azumo here. Ooh, it's the Ohio. All right, fair enough. Hopefully we can get in range of that real quick. Uh, 
Okay, vulnerable broadside. He predicted the slowdown very well. Or he underled. It's an AR buff. It's all good. Typically when you turn out like that, you're going to see that uh, most of the shells actually land short. Slow down, turn out like that usually does that. You'll see that uh, in a lot of the videos where, well, even there, Condi turned out and uh, shells mostly landed short. Oh well, vulnerable broadside, there we go. Got a little careless here at the beginning. That's fine, shouldn't be too big a deal. All right, we definitely want to help on this Hayate. Not having 360 turrets here, you can see the uh, downsides of that. So the enemy team here looks pretty passive. So we're just going to hang out and uh, not over aggress here. There we go. Armor doing some good work there. Very nice. Try like that for now. Although that said, we kind of do want to get aggressive here. Even with losing some HP. Wow, this Seattle has a lot of range. Because we do want to get this heal buff. We do want to get the um, control of this side. Just because we have a lot of people here. So our team would ideally be winning this flank. And probably we're going to lose this flank. We'll see. See what it comes to. Seattle going a little too broadside. Ah, uh, nothing. Probably going to go forward now. Turning radius? Pretty bad, though. I actually didn't realize that. I should have looked at that import. But I've been turning this whole time. It's taken a long time to get that turn in. Didn't leave quite enough there. Our Io is pushing a little aggressive. But wow, they lost a Condi already. Although, to be fair, I nearly died at the beginning, too. <laughs> Super cruisers getting nuked out of the water off the rip. All right. Not great, not great damage, but we're gonna find uh, we're gonna find some good broadsides yet. I believe Ohio's on us. Fair enough. Angled. We shouldn't really be taking much damage from him. Yeah. The lack of a superstructure really helps that out. So our old. Hi or Iowa, sorry. Our Iowa is going to die here. It's probably okay. Not great, but it's going to have to be okay. We're going to need these guys to start pushing up here a little bit quicker. It's a very, very broad side. Ooh, they managed to get that. Okay, well, we have to punish that. We do have to punish that one. 300, really? Please, game. <laughs> one hit. No way. He gets away with that? That sucks. Unfortunate. Ooh, 7k there. Okay, the Seattle... Needs to take some damage. Holy crap. What are you doing? How? Game? Game? Why? And there's enough disrespect that the Hayate even gets to shoot at us here. That's insane. Alright, let's, uh... I don't know. Try and go dark, I guess. Well... I guess RNG is uh, going to play a factor here, unfortunately. Oh well. Oh well. Broadside Seattles don't take damage. Unlucky. But Broken Commander might save the day. We'll see. Napoli probably spots us, though. Unfortunately. Well, maybe not. Patri pushing up. That's pretty good. Arnapolis and Edgar need to be uh, doing some stuff. We're alive, though. Barely. Somehow. Ah, they actually shifted a lot of people from mid. 
over. That's why it's kind of gotten a little tense here. How is this Seattle still alive? He's playing so badly. Bow in? He's been sitting broadside to me, too. That's so sad. It's one of my main gripes with the Petro, if you're wondering why I don't play it all that often. It really comes down to uh, the ship isn't consistent. And then you're a cruiser on top of that. Um, which is pretty annoying to be playing a cruiser and not have any sort of consistency in that. Alright, let's, uh, let's fire away here. Really? Are they really just sitting up there waiting for me to get spotted? That's brutal. I mean, they could have been shooting at this patree, right? <laughs> Come on, team, please. The ship is on fire. Please, team. Kill the Seattle already. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Seattle's done, finally. Oh, and that hits us yet. So we're pretty much dead here. Unfortunately, it looks like the enemy team has gathered most of the buffs here. So even though we are in a situation that pretty even on ships, in fact, even a little ahead, um, it's going to be tough for us to actually carry this game out. I lost far too much at the beginning there. I'm surprised that Ohio hit that. With slow shells like that, turning out should be a uh, aim bug low. That's typically how that goes with Ohio at range. Oh well, let's not dwell on it, moving on. We need to get that heal buff, hopefully. And we're gonna play pretty far back. I'm trying to hope that uh, our teammates can win this one for us. Can see that it's not all, uh, all powerful in the tanking department. Same with the guns, unfortunately. I think I can get away with shooting here. Really want to. Yeah, I think I can. Yep, good. Alright, let's try and take the Azuma out. Long range AP. Dispersion kind of letting us down here a little bit. But we had a really, really good game the first one. So you can kind of see some of the differences, I guess, in the ship. If you're going to be uh, lucky with RNG, you're going to have a, a good game like the first one. And if you're... Shells aren't going to land. Although, there we go. And actually, Combat Scout means 141,000 spotting. How did we get 141,000 spotting? Were we just that aggressive? That's funny. Typically, you get that in a DD or mainly a carrier or something like that. Ooh, we did get lit here. Kind of interesting. And the Ohio is going to instantly look for us? Yes. Yes, indeed. You probably also won't have to deal with that as much either. More than likely. All right, let's grab this reload buff here. Try and help maybe on the Annapolis. Might be the play. Or this Klauswitz. Although he's going to turn out here, right? Yeah, no way we get that, unfortunately. Petro broadside is kind of interesting. Let's actually radar. I think our Patri might have an angle there. did. Or maybe that was to the close wits that shot. We do need to deal with this Annapolis though right away. That's a pretty big priority. Mm, went a little too far forward here. There we go. Citadels. Let's go. Oh, this turning radius, I can't even get behind this. I'm gonna actually ground here. 
Oh yeah, we do get the Annapolis as well. Alrighty then, we're kind of bringing this game back a little bit. But it is tough, they do have a lot of buffs. Our reload is pretty insane. Just lacking on the HP front here. Oh, wait, I should be waiting for uh, Radar to be up to be this aggressive. That zoom is there. Oh no. All right, so we're dead to the sub. All right. Fair enough. Not much you can do about that one. So, 74k... Combat Scout is interesting here. I gotta say, Combat Scout's pretty interesting here. Let's see, maybe we can't... Uh, dodge these somehow? Uh, I don't think so. Alright. So, not a good second game, but... Our team was a little passive in this one, too. Regardless, there is the Novosibirsk. Uh, again, sorry on the pronunciation, but uh, that is a pretty decent uh, super ship. But it does continue with the Petro trend of uh, inconsistent cruiser, which is not something I particularly enjoy all that much. If I'm going to play an inconsistent ship, I do want to play a battleship, where at least the inconsistency sometimes results in a massive dev strike. This thing, you know, you're not going to have the alpha to really do that all that much. Um, even against a broadside Edgar at seven kilometers, we weren't quite able to dev strike him there in that first game. So, and that was with good RNG. So, you know, it's a tanky ship, but I find much like Petro, probably not going to play this one all that much. We'll see. I'm going to play it more today. Going to be streaming the uh, Devastation and the Novosibirsk and probably have a bunch more games. Maybe do some post commentaries on these two if I get some really good ones. You'll see those later on the channel. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.